Argyll is transitioning from an open pit to an underground mine. The underground mine will be operational in August 2012. Argyll will mine the diamonds underground using a technologically advanced technique called block caving. Argyll will be the first block cave mine in Western Australia. This video shows how the block cave mining is done. The diamonds are in a large ore body that goes deep into the ground like a tooth. The access tunnel for Argyle's underground mine will go down in a long slope. The tunnel is wide enough for cars and trucks and goes down a couple of hundred metres below the ground. Other holes are dug to bring fresh air underground and to take out all the hot dusty air out of the mine. When the access tunnel is deep enough, it then moves across to the ore body and goes all the way around the ore. Several other tunnels are made so workers in vehicles can move around easily and safely. Eventually a whole grid of tunnels is built so we can reach every part of the ore body on that level. When mining begins the ore will be collected from these tunnels. The first part of the mining operation is to build a grid of tunnels. This job is done with drilling machines called jumbos. They use big drills on the end of booms to drill holes on the end of the rock face. Another vehicle is used to lift technicians in safety cages up to the holes so they can fill them with explosives. When the people have moved to a safe place, the rock face is blasted. The broken rocks from the blasted area are taken away by loaders, tipped into underground trucks and taken out of the mine. After the blasting, the roof of the tunnel has to be reinforced to stop it falling down. This is done with steel rods cemented into the rock. The same job of drilling, blasting and bolting, the roof is done across the whole ore body. This level is where all the ore will be collected and taken out. Meanwhile, a new level is being developed with new tunnels just above the first level. This is where the mining is going to start. Mining will begin on this top level by blasting a slice of ore all the way across the ore body and then funnels will be built to connect the top level to the bottom level so the broken rocks fall down to the tunnels below so they can be collected by loaders. The slice of ore is cut out in many small sections. This is the safest way to blast underground. First the slice is drilled out using drilling jumbos. The holes are pumped full of explosives and the rock is blasted. Some of the broken rock is taken away to create space for more blasting. Holes are drilled up into the rock and more pieces of the slice are blasted. Working on one small section at a time, a slice ore is blasted out across the whole upper level of the ore body. Here we can see the broken ore on the upper level. The tunnels, the dark holes which keep going deep into the rock, are on the lower level. But with this video, we cut away a lot of the solid rock so we can see the tunnels and what goes on within them. The next step is to connect both levels with funnels so the broken ore can fall into the connection point. This is done by boring a large hole up towards the top level to create room for blasting. Blast holes are drilled on both sides of the bore hole to create a funnel shape in the rock. These holes are packed full of explosives and the rock is blasted. The broken rock is blasted into the bore hole and falls to the floor of the tunnel. Some of this broken rock is taken away to make room for more blasting. After blasting the same way many times, a funnel of broken rock is made. This broken rock contains the diamonds. Loaders come into the tunnel and collect loads of ore from the collection points at the bottom of the funnels. There will be many funnels created with the loaders collecting ore from each of them at the same time. These loaders may have drivers in them or be operated by remote control by people in an office. Eventually funnels will be built across the whole ore body. The rest of the mine's life will be spent in collecting the ore, crushing it and taking it out of the mine. Each load of ore is taken to a big underground crusher where it's broken up into small pieces. It is then conveyed out of the mine through another tunnel. As each load is taken out from the collection points, the solid rock above the funnel starts to crack and break until it also falls down the funnels. Eventually it breaks all the way up to the floor of the open pit on the surface. 
Of course the open pit will be finished by then and there will be no one working there. Sometimes big rocks block the funnels. These are drilled by jumbos and blasted to break them into smaller pieces that can fall down to the collection point. Once mining operations are in full swing, the same basic steps are repeated over and over again at every collection point across the ore body. Bit by bit, the entire ore body will gently cave in through the funnels, where it can be collected by the loaders, taken to the crushers and conveyed out of the mine. Mining will continue until all the ore has been removed. <laughs>